Hi, Steve Gale here. So here I'm going to add a, um, an agent. So I've got already got a, a Windows, Windows 11 client running Windows Defend policy. So I'm going to add another one. And um, I'm going to use the um, Windows Defend policy. And I'm going to enroll in free, Fleet. And I'm going to go to Windows. And you can see here I've got the, um, this is my, this is my um, script. So I'm going to um, copy that. And I'm going to have a go at doing this in Windows Server. So I'll go to my Windows Server over here. And I'm going to run up um, PowerShell. PowerShell, but I need to run it as administrator. So I'll run PowerShell as administrator. But I'm also going to run up um, um, Notepad. And I'm going to paste the script into there because I need to add in here minus minus insecure and with an enter on the end. And I'll just save this on the desktop. So I'll just go file, save as, and I'll call this um, Windows Defend dash. 240733, and I've set a text, so I'll just make it a PS1 file. And I'm going, to, I'm going to copy all of this, copy that, and I'm going to paste into here. And we'll just let it run. It'll take a little while. So the first thing it's going to do is it goes, it runs silently. And then it's going to um, go to Elastic Beats, Elastic Agent, and download the, um, the Windows Agent. Windows Defend Agent, and it's going to put it into a zip file. So we'll just let that run for a while. It'll take a little while. That is what it's doing this. You can see it's doing 8.82 is the current agent version. And uh, over here, I've um, got the instructions for 8.8. So we're, we're at the moment. Saw and configure Elastic Defend integration. Um, and um, so we've we've added the Elastic Defend integration. Oh, you can see here, hang on a minute. You can see here now that it's expanding the archive. So it's expanding the zip file, destination path current. So it's going to put in user administrator. Anyway, just going back to here. So we've added the integration already. And what we're doing is we're, um, is we're adding an agent. So we've just gone, we've just said enroll in fleet, install Elastic Agent onto your host. What type of host are you adding? Elastic Defend. And, um, and that's what we're doing at the moment. Okay, so what it's doing now is it's actually installing the agent, and it's going. You can see here that it's it's writing back to um, HD 192.168.100.200 port 8.220. So that's um, our Kali Purple scene running Elastic, and also running Fleet, and Fleet is running on port 8.220. So it's going to send it's going to send um, this data back to um, back to Fleet. So it'll it'll actually send it back to the fleet agent, but it's waiting for me. So it's saying Elastic oh, Agent will be installed. It runs a service. Do you want to continue? So I'll just say yes to that, and um, it'll install the agent now. So once that agent's installed, it'll it'll connect back to uh, Carly Purple um, Elastic Scene and back to Fleet, and it'll send um, data from the um, from the Windows box um, back to um, back to Fleet. Here we go. So you can see here it's starting to send some information back. And um, and you can see here successfully enrolled the Elastic Agent. Elastic Agent has been successfully installed. So if we now flip back to um, back to our scene, you'll see here it's got um, agent enrollment confirmed. So it's, it's enrolled the agent and it's confirming incoming data. Now we've seen that incoming data is being sent. Yep, and the incoming data is been um, received. 
So once we get to this point, we can then close, and you can see here that SG server has now appeared over here. So we can close this, and you can see here that I've got um, my Windows 11 client running an agent, and I've also got SG server running, that's, which is my Windows server. If I go back here, um, my Windows server. If I was to have a look at my Windows server, you'd see that it would be called local server, and the computer name is SG server. So both of the both my client and my server are sending information back to um, back to Windows Defend. So if I go to the host SG server, you can see here that you can get some information, see that it's healthy, it's running, and I can have a look at some logs. So these are some of the logs that are being sent back. So yep, starting healthy. Yep. So that's that's all working now. So if I go back to Discover and I go back to Logs and I look at the um, the last fifteen minutes, then I'll be getting I'll be getting logs back from my Windows eleven secret agent name Windows Windows eleven client, but I should also be getting um, from the Windows server as well. It's the last 15 minutes, so if I go down to the very end, then I should have some logs from the um, the Windows server. I'm looking for some here, hang on a minute. Yes, yeah, so I've just picked on the most recent log, and if we, if we uh, highlight the log, I'll just show you how. If you just pick on a log, and this is the last one. I'll highlight the log and I'll just expand it out. And I can have a look down at the information that's coming from the log. So if I scroll through here, you can see here that um, if I go down a bit, host.hostname, SG server. So if I want to put a filter in here, I can do a filter. So I could do a host.hostname, EQ, SG server, and just filter out those, those logs. Yeah, filter for the value. So create a filter. Yeah, host or host name SG server. And then all I'm doing is getting my um, my server log. So a very simple filter. And you can see here that it's it's highlighted all of these um, logs that are coming back from my um, from my server SG server. So um, and then I can filter on various combinations of different things I can put into my log filters, whatever, whatever information I'm looking for. Okay, thanks for watching.